going on everyone joe here with your daily solar update it is october 29th 2021 432 here in minnesota uh just coming at you with a quick update of everything that's gone on since yesterday we're going to take a look at sunspots the kp index which is going to be something to note coming up in the next coming days but let's get to it as you can see here 2887 has lost some sunspots down from my last video it is now at 22 it was at 20 yesterday so it did gain two from last night so it's been going up and down we got a c-class solar flare percent 75 percent for an m and we got that 30 percent for an x class the 24 hour max is at an m 1.56 and we've been at a, a nice little baseline here at a four, at a B, I mean. Um, so it's a little bit more normal than usual. We're gonna go take a look at the KP index there. Saturday and Sunday, you see that KP7 and KP5. That's gonna be from that X-class flare from yesterday, the 28th. Um, we're going to go to real-time solar activity, solar flares, take a look at the graph here. It's been up and down since yesterday. We've had an M, a high C, low C, mid C, and uh, 2887 facing us. we got a C11, a D86, and a C25. So those are the three flares that have hit us today. Um, SDO is looking still. I believe this sunspot that is now facing us has been unnamed. Yep. See, 2887 here is named, but now we got these two right here. We got 2889. Tell me why 2889 is named and these two aren't. Hmm. Interesting. They got to keep up with that solar prediction number. That's why they're not naming them. And then we got 2889 up there, which has been going hyperactive for the past three days. We'll take a look at that as well. We're going to go to SDO. Having a little bit of uh, loading issues here. We're going to take a look at the 48 hour see if this wants to load in today it might be a little bit slow with the waves of energy coming at us but I'm gonna do my best if not I might need to just wait until tonight when I get home and I can get on Wi-Fi uh, yeah looks like I'm not gonna be able to get a good look at the SDO cameras right now so we'll take a look at those tonight when I get home from work. See some other stuff we can look at the end though. <laughs> Everything's being slow today. Look at that number up there. Let's see if we can go forward, 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 forward. Look at the wave of energy coming up there. We're going to be hitting about 70 meters cubed. Here it comes. Look at that wave. Look at that black. It's coming. About to hit that spike. It'll be at about... Let's see. About 1030, 1700 UTC time, which will be about 2 p.m. Central. So, watch out. Um, yeah, just a quick little five minute video. I'm gonna do a longer video tonight once I can get back on my Wi Fi. I'm at work currently, so uh, just uh, stay tuned for a future update coming tonight. We'll be able to look at SDO, LASCO, KP Index, all that. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you liked, leave a like and subscribe. And stay tuned for future updates, solar weather wise. This is Joe here, and you guys beware coming up the next two days.